I wanted to come on here and let you guys know what it is I normally do on a weekly basis, starting from in the mornings until when I go to sleep at night. So, I am in Texas, for those of you guys who don't know, and I'm staying with my cousins and her little babies and their family, which is really cool. Yeah, it's been amazing. It's really, really hot right now, super, super sunny, but that's a good thing because in the daytime, most of the time I'll be out here probably getting some sun or working out, which is what I'll try to do three times a week. But, um, yeah. My swing's broken. Oh, no. Who broke it? You broke it or Zoe broke it? I didn't broke it. You sure you didn't break it? No, because I was not on it a long time. Who was on it? My lady, Zoe. Are you, are you snitching on Zoe? No, it wasn't me. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll follow that whole thing later. But, um, right now, I'm going to show you guys what I normally do in the morning, starting from in, in the room when I first wake up. Okay, so normally in the mornings, you know, when I wake up, I'll say a little prayer for you, or whoever else needs it, and myself. And then I do a stretch, mostly consisting of yoga, um, and just like really basic vinyasa and stuff like that. When I stretch, I normally use oils. I'm gonna show you my oil collection. Okay, so normally in the mornings when I'm up and I'm about to stretch, I'll normally use, I have a few oils. I use the Wolf's Moon Apothecary is called Don't Come For Me Intention Oil. It's an um, intention-based company and it's pretty dope. So I'll use this in the morning and I'll just rub it all on my decolletage and like my hands and everything. And then I'll do like my yoga session for like maybe 15, 20 minutes or something like that. Normally I'll post some of those on my Insta stories on Instagram. And then I have my eucalyptus oil. I will normally use this along with my lavender oil. But my lavender oil and this, I'll put them on my hands and I'll just like rub them on my sheets and on my pillowcases so that, you know, I'm a little more chill and calm when I go to sleep at night. And I'll also put this in the shower too. A little, maybe like a few, four or five drops. I'll put this in there so that it calms me as well. And then I have my sweet almond oil, my lavender spray, which I'll spray on my bed, either or the lavender and eucalyptus. My lemongrass oil, which I absolutely love. I put this in like all of my stuff when I put on my body, my moisturizer. I'm all, I'll probably end up doing a video about a body butter that I'll probably make. And then my peppermint oil. I had to buy all this stuff here again in Texas. I have so much stuff like in New York and LA, but this is like the necessary stuff that I really do need. Okay, so now we're in the bathroom. It's like my whole little kit. All right, so in my bathroom, I have my water spritzer. You guys will see me use this on my daily skin routine type videos. My retainer, so I have braces and all that good stuff. My vitamin E oil, which is really great for getting rid of pimples and like all that kind of stuff. And then I have my whole system for my skincare routine, which you guys have seen, hopefully. If you have not, go check it out. Okay, so this is my True Treatments and Neogenesis stuff. My toothpaste that's all natural is charcoal from Hello, which is a really great company. And then this is their mouthwash because you got to keep your mouth fresh. Oh, yeah. And then I have my Glossier Future Dew, which is really great when I don't want to put on any like foundation or anything like that. Keep it really simple. Um, I'll put this on after my after my skincare routine. It's a part of it, I guess, so to speak. And simple saline. Me being in Texas, I get really stuffy in here, being in the desert. And so this is a nasal nasal mist, nasal spray. You know, you just like shoot it up in your nose. And that's it. It's really good. I have my sunscreen, my rose hip oil, which I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with. I love it. But yeah, that's pretty much my whole bathroom situation. Okay, so we're in the kitchen and I'm going to come out here and the first thing I'll do is take my prebiotic probiotic powder. I'll show you what it is. So this is Trust Your Gut. I'll normally um, do like a little uh, thing of this. It comes with this little spoon thingy followed by a cup of tea and it'll either be peppermint or mint tea. I ran out, so I don't have any right now. Um, and then I'll drink uh, eight to 16 ounce of lemon water. I won't do lime because I hate the taste of lime, even though key limes are like the best 
stuff to put in your water. So I'll do lemon water in the mornings and probably make a big cup and just like drink it throughout the entire day. And after that, normally I will do eggs on a bagel or we'll do pancakes. We love, love, love pancakes in this house. Um, and then I have my spinach and my kale, which I keep on hand. Like, I love this. So I'll make like probably a bagel sandwich or like fried egg with grits and spinach, so, you know, side of mushrooms, onions, and, like all that good stuff or whatever. And I got my almond milk, my vegan butter, which I use on like everything. Smart balance, earth balance, that whole vibe. And then for afternoons and evenings and for snack time, I'll normally do pretty much that where I'll make a pasta, a gluten-free pasta. Uh, let me show you one of my pasta brands. This one they have at Whole Foods. So if they're gluten-free, they have like maybe three or four different, maybe more different kinds of this one. So I'll use this to make like a veggie pasta or something with the cashew cream sauce. It's so good. For snacks, I'll have fruit, maybe apple or pear or maybe some like granola cereal that I like and I'll cut bananas up in it with some almond butter. So that's really good. And then in the day when I'm just like super bored, I'll go to Netflix and watch some TV. Right now I'm watching, what am I watching? I'm watching The Blacklist. I am watching a little bit of Criminal Minds and, and I'm also watching Money Heist. Um, and The Good Doctor and The Resident and New Amsterdam, which are on CBS and Hulu, I believe. <laughs> okay, so for my books right now that I'm reading, I got a few recommendations. And right now I'm reading The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, which is a really, really good book. It's about this woman with immortal cells and they took her cells um, back in the day really really long time ago and she didn't know that her cells were taken and apparently they use these to like find out so many cures and like help with cancer and like polio and all this crazy stuff so it's a really good book and then I'm, uh, I also have Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn that I'm gonna start reading soon um, Britt Marie was here and then Difficult Women by Roxanne by Roxanne Gray so I'm brushing up on my she's right here brushing up on my our Zoe, that's making a lot of noise. You like stop it or go further away. Um, right now on my phone, I'm playing Scrabble, which I'm like literally obsessed with. I've never, I've maybe played Scrabble once in my life. And I am also brushing up on my French. So I'm doing Duolingo uh, every day. I think that's it. If I'm not doing any of those things I just listed, then I'm editing. Yeah, I'm editing videos all day not every day but all day but yeah so that's what i normally do throughout the week yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys and if you have not checked out my last video it is a breast milk facial that i completed for seven days so check that out whichever way i put it up on the video it's over here somewhere bye guys